I'm in production control here. Let's have a look at the difference between estimated cost and realized cost in a production. So first let's go and create a production order. Now I've created a basic bill of materials and route for this and we're going to explore some of these. So I'm going to hit create and the first thing I'm going to do is hit estimate and so if I hit estimate then what it's going to do is go and give me a price calculation and if I look at the overview of the costing we'll have estimated costs. So let's have a look at this. So we have three uh, raw material lines and then we have some work involved at converting these products for example. Um, and so obviously the three lines come from our bill of materials. So let's pick on the first one. So X561. Now we'll see the estimated cost is 52. So I've got a filter here for these items. So this is X561. Let's go and have a look at the details. So you'll see here that under our manage costs tab on the item uh, we have a unit price here or a cost price of 52. Now that's essentially my estimated cost when I set up this item. You'll notice that the purchase price for the item is 50. So I could have additional $2 a cost to sort of get the product in, handle it and stuff like that. Um, so what you'll notice is um, if those estimated additional two dollars a cost not added to the product then of course what we'll see in inventory for the product if I have a look at on hand I've got some of these products and if I look at the current cost amount um, then it's fifty dollars uh, in the system because I used the standard purchase price we purchased and invoiced the product into the system so that's the current uh, running cost price in the system uh, because I'm using, in this particular case, I'm using FIFO for these um, items uh, as the inventory valuation method. So let's go through the production and see what happens from a realized cost. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and schedule. Um, I'm going to do job scheduling. I'll have a look at this in another video, the difference um, of operation versus uh, job scheduling relevant to what you'll see in the costing. So I'm going to release this um, and I'm just going to go through these really quickly um, so we can get to the end in terms of producing and we can see the compare. So I'm going to report as finished, we're reporting one so we're finished and then I can end the production. Alright, so now if we're going to explore the cost, we've finished production, we've produced one of these items and so now we'll have realized cost. So if we look at the estimated cost, this was going to cost us 162. The realized cost for the item is 156 and that's because now if you look at this particular raw materials, it's gone and picked up the cost value of that item that's in inventory which is $50 in this particular case. So same for each of the items, you'll see that there's a slight variation there. Now our um, conversion um, labor cost for example um, is still our $2 so that's perfectly fine. So that's something to consider in terms of that overall process. Uh, what's our estimated cost and where do the values come from versus the realized cost and those values that will be um, shown there for example. So that's something to keep in mind when you're having a look at that overall flow of a production order. Where is it picking up these values from and ultimately so you can understand some of the variances that come into play.